Uh, hi, Tom. Thank you for allowing me to interview you for these exciting exhibitions at Skipton Castle and Scampton Hall Wall Garden this November and December. What paintings are you sending to the exhibitions in Yorkshire and why have you selected them? Uh, well, I've selected a small group of Yorkshire landscapes, uh, obviously because they're Yorkshire landscapes. Uh, uh, it's a little series of the same view all painted on the same day. Uh, and also uh, a much larger uh, picture of a, of a, a bulldog, which is actually painted in London, but he's got quite a Yorkshire aspect to his face as well. Probably. Okay, and going, going back to these landscapes, does light interest you? Yes, I mean the whole changing light interests me, uh, and change interests me. And the whole point of painting that one series over the course of one afternoon was, of course, the landscape completely changes, uh, practically looks like a different place, just with the traces of the sh same shapes in it. Uh, okay. And so that change of light I love, I love about the British weather. And um, just on a, do, do you mind people uh, watching you paint? Uh, since the famous Turner was very guarded about uh, people watching him paint. Indeed, we only know of one witness uh, recorded account of uh, someone watching him in his lifetime. Do, do you mind people watching you paint? Uh, I, I, if, if anyone, if any of them actually remember, I think I'd have a lot of witness accounts. I don't mind too much. Uh, I don't like people commenting all the way through, but I painted in quite public places at different times and done various residencies where you're practically, you know, the show dog. Uh, so I, I, I've, I've grown, I've learned not to mind it. Okay. I sort of think there's something quite theatrical about painting as well. You know, you, 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 you're doing something quite quickly and uh, it's, it's going to be on public display and sometimes it's important that people see the process. Okay, I understand that. And do, do you described um, the Bulldog uh, series as, as heroic, as a heroic feel about it. What do you mean? Uh, well, these paintings, I think, were, were partly inspired by Velasquez's series of uh, paintings of the dwarfs and fools in the Spanish court. Yes, I know the, the ones. 17th century. Uh, what I love about those is he takes these figures from the very, very bottom of the social hierarchy of the court, and it was one of the most hierarchical societies in Europe at the time, and he paints them as if they're at the top. And I think it's an, um, something, a fantastic thing that art can do is take things that have almost no status and by observation and work and by its magic can somehow give them a status that they didn't have before. And that's what I try to do with these dogs. Well, oh, thank you, that, that's, that's interesting. And now on a completely different uh, matter, I know you like cycling, and as you no doubt have heard from me, the Tour de France is coming to Yorkshire next year. Will you be donning your Lycra shorts to come and watch? Uh, I, I have actually cycled uh, in the Skipton area, uh, and uh, it's a brilliant area for cycling. Not big on the Lycra shorts, uh, and uh, so I probably are more actually into getting in the saddle myself than observing it. <clears throat> Well, thank you very much.